Good morning. It is Thursday, October 10th, already a third of the month gone. And I'm continuing with a video a day, an interview a day, typically. Uh, today, I'm heading to a friend's side, bedside at a hospital. Uh, he looks out, he suffered from TGA, which is transi transient global amnesia. Now, I had amnesia once. It's very bizarre to not know what your name is. Uh, mine was caused by someone broadsided me in my car. And I ended up in the hospital and they asked me what my name was. I had not a clue. But they don't let you uh, struggle for long. They'll tell you what your name is. Because they want you to, your memory to come back. So it was a while before it came back. It's very scary. And this guy I'm visiting, to, to be uh, named Anonymous, is has an incredible memory. Oh my gosh, the stories he tells. Great guy. So I'm going to go by, um, visit him in the hospital. Uh, I hear he's doing better, which is good, obviously. Now, I make uh, humor of every situation, and I look at every situation as a positive. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of a humor on this. Is I hope he's not losing his memory because he owes me money, and I'll forget how much he owes me because I probably have forgot how much he owes me. <laughs> but uh, I try to make humor out of everything, and sometimes it's not proper, not right. But I think you should laugh at yourself, laugh at life, uh, because laughter is indeed the best medicine. I recently, uh, someone told me a story recently about a gentleman that was given the death sentence in his hospital bed. And I uh, forget the story how it goes, but he started laughing. And uh, he didn't die. And I, I always said that if you, you're not going to die laughing, that's for sure. But uh, it's good to keep a good attitude on things, as I always say. Positive thoughts manifest positive action. Look at the positive side of everything. You know, he's bedridden for a couple days. Well, that's less work, isn't it? So there's positive sides to everything. I'm sure he'll recover. I'm thinking positive. Uh, and uh, maybe he'll uh, allow me to interview him uh, in the hospital. We'll see. Stay tuned, everybody. It's only uh, 9.47 in the morning. And it's a beautiful day to be on the top side of the grass. I hope everybody is going to have a fantastic day. Stay tuned. I just got a great call from a complete stranger that attended one of the city council meetings where I presented a solution for uh, for the homeless. Um, I have a company called Affordable Homes for You, and I created a uh, indestructible, uh, affordable, practical uh, home for the po uh, for the poor and for the homeless. Um, and that was it's a great product. But uh, she remembered that, that I donated one to a, to a veteran, and she wanted to know if I still had them, which I do. But uh, what came out of that little conversation when I told her about the movement is that she's going to send me a video of a little three-year-old that whose parents told them to say, I am good, I am great, I am blessed, all these great affirmations from the time he can start talking. And I can't wait to see it. And I'm gonna In a quarter up, mile, up, use the second from the right lane to take exit 53B for I-10 West, I-10 East towards Santa Monica, Los Angeles. Sorry about that. It's directions to get to the hospital. Um, so I hope to put that on this uh, video because I'll bet it's really cute. And that's what we need to do is teach our children to be fantastic, to be good, to be kind, to be considerate, to be polite, to be friendly, to be civil. Use the second uh, from the right lane to take exit 53B oh, and keep left at the fork. That. Oh, my God, do you have to repeat it twice? I'm not that stupid. Well, maybe. At any rate, uh, so um, teach your children to be fantastic, to be kind and considerate and friendly and polite and civil. It starts with the children, everybody. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, good news to report. He is fine. They're doing some more tests. But uh, I asked him, are you in the movie? In half a mile, comedy? turn right onto the I-10 West ramp. It's all about uh, laughter, as I said before, and he wasn't. And I give him. He was in a mood for comedy, so I gave him a couple of my uh, my jokes uh, from my comedy routine, which is about not having a memory. It's all good. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Okay, so to complete my afternoon, I'm going to attempt to turn a I don't know, about 55 foot uh, sailboat around in its slip. It's not really a sub, it's an end tie. And uh, so they could paint the other side of it. Remember the sailboat I was on? Let's see if you can see it at the end, see it at the, end of the, uh, the dock there. We're going to flip that around so um, Pedro can paint it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a couple shots of that. Talk to you in a little bit. This guy's got his work cut out for him. Hey, Drew! Que paso? Here you go. Here's the boat. It's a beautiful boat. He just painted the port side, which says, you, if you know nautical terms, port is left, starboard is right. So we're going to spin the, the sucker around. It's huge. It's more than a two-man task, but we're going to give it the old college try. See what happens. Just to show you, my theory is working. There it is. There's the boat being swung around. MacGyver comes through again. See? It just pivots. Actually, the current was taking the bow out, which makes our work a lot easier. It's pivoting around. Pedro is pull, pulling in. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We turn the sailboat around without any power. There you go. Just to show you, my theory is working. There it is. There's the boat being swung around. MacGyver comes through again. See? It just pivots. Actually, the current was taking the bow out, which makes our work a lot easier. It's pivoting around. Pedro is pull, pulling in. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We turn the sailboat around without any power. There you go. We're, we're going to use this yacht as a uh, cruising vessel. It's, I really shouldn't show it in this condition. It's a little messy, but you can imagine it's how it's going to look. We're going to use it uh, for, uh, for bringing uh, our good uh, supporters on little cruises. It's going to be fun. Pedro's going to make it nice and pretty soon. Okay, Pedro, we had a slight problem. <laughs> we, we forgot to tie, or I should say I forgot to tie, yeah, the dinghy uh, back to the dock when we untied it because it was on top of the, the boat. And so the dinghy floated away. And there's a young lady on a paddleboard with a dog, and she's, it's too much work for her to go upstream. So she's tying it off to the dock a couple of do docks down, and we're going to go rescue the dinghy. There's always a, an adventure when you're in the marina. And this is the young lady who rescued our dinghy with her dog. What's your dog's name? Uh, Pony, but it's short for Odysseus. Odysseus, and you are? I'm Jerry Lynn. And thank you so much for rescuing. It was up upstream. It was a little bit tough, huh? Yeah, it was very tough. It's, it's, it's a lot of dead weight. So yeah, yeah. I brought it back, and I'm like, wait, I don't know if I can do that with his exercise. <laughs> well, thank you so much. No You're fantastic. Have a good day. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Okay. Um, now Pedro is going to attempt a life-defeating de uh, uh, task of rowing it back to the dock. It's just the three docks up, but he's going to have fun. He'll probably fall into the water. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Want me to take it with me <laughs> in case you fall in? Here he goes. He learned how to tie a, a dock line today, and that's not the white ray, which she just did it. No, no, right here, look, look, there you go. She didn't do it right either, so don't worry about it. And here he goes. Be Pedro, it was nice knowing you. Good luck. Right. Have, have a nice voyage. Here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Right-handed, left-handed, right-handed, left-handed. Now, you're going to have a lot of drag right now, Pedro, because um, the, the uh, cover is dragging, so you might want to pull it up. Pull it in. There you go. Have a nice uh, paddle. It's nice knowing you. There he goes. Not easy with uh, on a dinghy doing that. Well, Pedro is a faster rower than I am a walker, I guess. How was your voyage? How was your voyage? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Not fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> All in a day's work, huh? Yeah. Now that's not right. No, Pedro. No, 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 no. I'm going to teach you. 
So everybody, when you're out in Malibu, stop at Colony Liquors, the liquor store to the stars. Say hello to my buddy George. He's had a few celebs drop in here. Colony Liquors in Malibu. We carry my mug and a few other things. Well, to end the day, I thought I'd uh, stop by my my secret spot where I do my motivational, inspirational sessions high atop the beautiful, high atop the beautiful Pacific Palisades. The way here. Interesting to put a little rope here. Not sure why. There we go. A little further up. A little hike, not too bad. There we go. A little further. This is where Dr. Fantastic dispels great motivation, inspiration, life advice. Look at this. Can't beat this. Ah. Taking that view. My friend owns this piece of property. Both both pieces of property. It's gonna be worth ten million dollars. But it's a great place to reflect. And I hope you all are spreading the word and helping me make the world a better place by being positive. By pollinating positivity. If you're still watching this, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. Hopefully they're inspiring you to do good, be a good person, invite other people to, to join the movement, make the world a better place. Again, as I tell everyone, stop and smell the roses. Take... Uh, Take a few minutes off, take your shoes and socks off, walk on the grass, enjoy life, it's very short, and most of all, be fantastic everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all those, all those things, and uh, till tomorrow, have a fantastic evening.